Erin McCann reporting from HIMS 14, where I caught up with healthcare innovator Dr. Patrick Soon Chung. You've been somewhat of an outspoken opponent of the Meaningful Use Incentive Program, you know, saying that it creates essentially medical bridges to nowhere uh, between systems that just don't integrate with each other. So could you talk a little bit about why? Yeah, because my concern is the way the Meaningful Use has been set up is to capture processes. So there's really been no uh, way where we really, what really you need to do is capture outcomes. So, and the systems that are currently structured really don't talk to each other. The proprietary systems are systems that are based on really old software that's not interoperable. So when we create these um, standards of processes, I really meant that when I said medical bridges to nowhere because I can challenge anybody. I think it's well known that if you move from one city to another city or even within the city, your information is not readily available. Yet you can get a Netflix movie with a press of a button. So I think um, we need to really create different standards of measuring outcomes and measuring cost. Unless you can measure outcomes and cost in real time on a single patient by patient basis, there's no way of actually measuring value-based care because value is outcome over cost. And I'm also critical about this terminology of accountable care organizations. How can you ask a providers to be accountable when they have no way of knowing what the outcomes are, what the costs are? And in fact, I, I challenge anybody to know who's accountable for the patient in real time in that very moment in time. So the idea is fluidity of information at the most granular level in a continuum across the care of the patient's uh, processes or, or handling throughout the patient's life. And that system just doesn't exist. Soon Xiong founded Nant Health. A completely interoperable platform from the company is being showcased here on the HIMSS 14 exhibition floor. Nant Health is a private company tackling big issues after meaningful use and incentives went into effect. In a funny way, unencumbered by any government funds, state funds, and purely with a vision of integrating care from the ground floor up, only in the interest of the patient. Uh, we were able to bring 30 to 40 companies and Nant Health is now today we presented for the first time but we've been incubating or in a skunk works fashion Nant Health for almost close to a decade now and we've spent close to a billion dollars. What's exciting is we've built now modernized software cloud-based bi-directional agnostic to any device agnostic to any electronic medical record and through machine-to-machine -machine connectivity as well as decision support tools and supercomputing we've now built a, what I call a clinical operating system. Very much like you have DOS or you have iOS or you have Android as operating systems there is no operating system for healthcare. So we've built this operating system which is now being deployed and it's been deployed in the nation quietly it's running over 3 million lives, 50 gigabytes of data a day across 50 practices, uh, uh, 50 states, 150 practices. We've captured um, vital signs with a connect box that has now taken APIs to 6,000 medical devices. We're capturing 3 billion vital signs in the cloud. We've built the largest data centers now that has what we call HIPAA compliant data centers tied to thousands and thousands of miles of fiber. We've built supercomputers that can do the genomic analysis in real time. We've built supercomputers that actually can take feeds of CAT scans and EMRs and feed it directly to mobile devices. All of that, regardless of where it comes from, regardless of the EMR, regardless of the uh, device, can, device, whether it be a ventilator, IV tube, or a pulse oximeter, we agnostic to and it speaks to this operating system. So we're very excited in the sense that Nant Health is now released on this nation and for the world an operating system that's dedicated to healthcare called the clinical operating system. Now what are the you know what are the implications of something like this for patient care? I mean when every system is working seamlessly together. And that's what's ex the most exciting thing for us because there's two elements of patient care. So if you look at a, um, 
the Institute of, of, of Medicine report on a patient that has comorbidities and a patient about to go to surgery, 27 healthcare providers interact with that patient on average. There is no way today that these 27 healthcare providers have access to all the information about that patient all the time. So you'd absolutely be able to get higher quality of care because of information. The other element of patient care is with regard to decision support. Today with genomics and proteomics, there's going to be a thousand facts that the doctor would need to get the, even the treatment decision right. And in no way that the doctor can keep up with that scientific deluge. And we've now created the machine-to-machine -machine tool through the cloud, through a drop-down menu, tied to the patient's diagnostic at the genomic and proteomic level, to be able to tell the patient and the doctor transparently what is the best care in the literature. So in a sense, we've now created what we call collective wisdom in the palm of your hands and brought the supercomputer to the palm of the hands because of mobile ubiquity, only because we've created an operating system that is agnostic to all. And then the final thing is we now, most of the patient's care is at home. So 90% of the patient's care is at home. But on the one hand, there's no incentive or even payment system to keep the patient healthy and at home. So we must change that. But if we do change that, how do we monitor the patient at home? So we've now created a health box that is actually just plugged into the home and through machine to machine talks to the blood pressure machine, scale, glucometer. And frankly, we can now create an ICU at home. And we have actually done that at UC Irvine. So from a patient's perspective, there's coordination of care, there's integration of care, there's the best decision support. From the provider's perspective, there's 21st century medicine accessible and what I call the right care, right time, and right place. So we think we've now created a tool of great transparency as well as information for doctors and patients to interact with each other. Well, Patrick of Nant Health, you're doing absolutely incredible things, so thank you so much for speaking with me today. You're welcome.